I'm going to start recording the class as well. Good morning, Lily. So uh, whoever is watching us online, uh, once again, I'm going to mute you. So you know, please make sure you, you're muted. Uh, and on the on your on your end, you have a chat box. You can type something in if you will have any questions or what have you that you want to want to ask. Today, I'm going to cover a few things. Um, first of all, just a few brief busters on the uh, Tokyo sign that we all got at no cost. Then some things in command. Just want to you know follow up with you guys. So um, let me go. I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to go to command to open both the side. Uh, person I see? Uh, Connor, once again, thumbs up if you can see my command screen. Okay, cool. All right, so you guys can see me as well. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to log in. Once again, if you're out there and you have your laptops or whatever, come in as well, do the same thing. Um, and just a quick overview once again, I'm going to throw things you might already know. Um, <clears throat> in order to connect the DocuSign, once you connect in command, on the top right, you're going to go and click on your name or picture, and you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to settings, and then um, here you can see that the, on the apps, you got various apps. Maybe you won't see it as the first app, but on, on my end over here, what you see, the first one is not sign, and it's connected, okay, because I already connected it. So if you don't have it connected, then you can go through the, you know, connect, and then you're going to go through the process of how to connect with the sign. This is the new sign. Don't try to connect your uh, existing or old DocuSign, okay? Um, in order for you to activate your your new um, account, uh, I don't know if anybody tried to connect your existing or you know old account. Uh, maybe it's possible, but um, why would you pay for something if you get the same thing at no cost to you, okay? And once again, this is only DocuSign. It's not a uh, access to your zip forms or access to your web account or anything. It's only only a signature platform, right? So that's that. Now, the question asked was, "Hey, um, I don't want to use or admit I don't want to use a document sign because um, there's still no full access to command and it's complicated, whatever, whatever." Well, document sign I'm going to show right now. DocuSign is a separate platform. So if you're going to go to, after once again activating, launching your new DocuSign, right, and I uh, highly recommend to log in with the PW email, not necessarily, I think it's not, not necessary, right? I think we do. Yeah. Okay, so 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 maybe so maybe you have to register. I'm not sure why, but you can try to register to command, sorry, to the new DocuSign account or the free one without using the category email, but you might be um, required to do so. That's how DocuSign screen the subscribers, basically. In any case, um, in any case, um, you can, once again, as you can see, this is like a, um, a, a, a an online website, right? So if I'm here, I just went to the wrong URL, and just go to the regular DocuSign. Um, Okay, so if I'm on a log log sign, or if you're in your new, new log sign, you can just log in with this is my new account. I used to have a different account, and I have no idea what my password is. You can just double check. I'm here to give me a second. Uh -huh. Hopefully, I'll be able to find it in a timely manner. Give me a second. And I don't think I remember my password, but um, okay, you'll have to give me a second over here. 
while I'm doing this, you know, you guys can uh, make sure you to log into your on your end to works for you. Once again, give me a second. I'm trying to. Um, Thank you for your patience. For this one. There we go. There you go. Um, okay, so now I'm in my DocuSign. And from here, I can do whatever, whatever I want. Okay, if I want to do like a new signature. Okay, send an envelope, send a document right away. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I can do it from here. See, like, if you from here, like, you know, upload the sample of the form. Let's, uh, let's use this one, for example, whatever. Okay, and I'm going to send it to um, whatever. I'll send it to Kim, so someone else, another name. Okay, and then I'm sending this to Kim, and um, then I'm going to do next, and add your signature over here, and date over there, whatever. Naturally, if it's going to be, a, um, if you're going to go through the, the, you know, the, the actual system provider, whatever, it's going to attach a signature to automatically for you. Uh, here's a little field, and just have the random, set, the random uh, form, so it's just do that, and then I'm going to. I'm going to send. And then, wait a second. There we go. Sent. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, stop sharing for a second. Then we can look at one another. Over here. Uh, Kim, did you get your email for me? Yes. Yes, you did. And then, and voila. Okay. So once again, you don't, uh, with the new, DocuSign, it's a DocuSign that you have or had before. Nothing more, nothing less. It's exactly the same thing. Only difference is that. Okay? So right now she's going to sign on her end, and once she's going to uh, com complete it, you see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to my DocuSign view, and um, Like something that waiting for other to see. Okay, I'm still waiting for her to sign this one. But it was sent to her, so that's that's that. Okay, did you did, did finish? I'll refresh my, my screen and then it was done. So I'm going, I'm going to complete it and then I'm going to see over here that Kim just finished it right now. And then this is the <coughs> Here's the form. Okay, signature, they done. Okay, so it goes the same way. So we're gonna have to look for within command. Now, let's see if you have two questions for me. Ah, yeah. no. Okay, now if you want to ask me, okay, many, but how can I go through command and do the whole thing? Um, I don't know yet. I have no idea. So if you go into command, <clears throat> And let's say right now you go into opportunities. That's that's the, our transaction manager. So I used to be that group, what have you announced over here. So currently you have only the, the way to do uh, great opportunity, right? To open transaction. I'm guessing at one point you might be able to do great opportunity or just maybe use the design the same way. So from here you can open any possible document that you want. Just for a quick signature. You know that sometimes you want to send yourself like a signature, right? Or someone else or whatever. It doesn't even have to be like real estate document or, or some kind. Um, so you can right now use both of Um Question, Kim. Do you know if the DocuSign app 
already sitting working with that. Anybody try to do that one? Yeah, if it's working, or not? No, um, Docusan has an app, right? So you can download the app and you can use that to you connect know, that to the uh, free account, and so that could be utilized the same the same way. So my question is, so my question is, uh, anybody, did anybody try or not yet? Anybody here? <coughs> um, let me see our viewers online. I'm going to ask the same question. Use the chat boxes. Anybody use try to download the Docusan app? And utilize that as um, uh, the you know once again as an interface with the new free account. If yes, yes, if not, that's okay. Uh, I encourage you to try and do that because that's going to be once again on the phone. You can send documents in seconds and do the whole thing. It's going to be even uh, easier. Um, back to to command. I, I'm guessing the next couple of weeks, um, maybe the you know next Friday. Oh, the AC is finally off over there. Uh, next Friday, if not the following Friday, we'll try to hack and explain to you like how to uh, use that from here. Um, as you can see, you can already do, you can already do that. By the way, I encourage you to go and play with that. If you're going to go come over here and you know, click on Create Opportunity, so naturally, if you have let's say once again Calabasas and uh, Medigo Group, that's funny, uh, and then uh, Opportunity like that listing. Uh, of course, you have to have your client. Um, here, so in your contact, so let's say it's, this is the client, Alan, and you can, you know, write a Rosenberg listing or a one, two, three Main Street, whatever the, um, the uh, address might be, and then you can add tags if you want and whatever, uh, estimate closing date, let's say a month from today, more or less, whatever, um, and then um, I'm going to, you know, create opportunity, right? So here, um, on, this is you can add more information over here naturally. This is your like your green sheet and your breakdown. The whole thing is over here on the document part. That that was a listing, okay. Like you can also do a buyer side or a lease or what have you. Here you already have all the documents uploaded. Now the reason that we don't um, pull the trigger on you yet because we're just perfecting our end, trying to close all the uh, loopholes. I know that Long Beach are already using that. Okay, uh, so if you call an agent and watching us, yeah, this is how you use that right now. And here, let's say you know you have the uh, uh, property profile, add the file and drag and drop, or you know, click over here and you know add whatever, of course, relevant document over here, and, and it's gonna, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, get uploaded over here, and that's how you, you know, run it was like pretty much. It's much much easier. At the same, the same time, the Kelly is interface to that as well, so you can technically do it also from home, okay? But once again, we're not there at fully, that's why we're not pulling the trigger over here. Um, and once you have offers in, and you're going to upload something over here, uh, you see like, you know, add new offer, and you're going to put something over here, the commission tab is going to open for you. So here you can finalize your green sheet. How much this person is going to get paid, and what's the deduction, and so on and so forth. And once you're done, then it's going to give you the option to submit, okay? And then for both compliance broker and our admin team will see that, and then they can just revise it and um, close the And then once again, you're going to get paid once you're, once you're done. Um, welcome, Cliff. I just did <laughs> <to> you, <laughs> okay? So, so back to back to the screen over here. Start to play with that. Take even existing transaction that you have. Okay, we'll do like a fake one and run with it. Okay, so let's say right now you have a transaction. Uh, change the like whatever. Change the name to a different type of address. So you want to maybe you know, maybe be in conflict. <clears throat> Try to offer the same thing just just to practice to play with it. Because I want to say that. We're going to put the trigger on November 1st, and it's going to be freezing turkey. It's going to be like, okay, no more that loop. Who's using that loop? Raise your hand. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, basically, we're not supposed to use it anymore. We're just stretching over here as a courtesy to you guys to, to be nice. And, you know, <laughs> but this is, once again, much, much, much easier. Um, back to uh, any questions about DocuSign? I want to show us another you know, cool thing about DocuSign in a second. But anything else about DocuSign? 
Say again. Seek him. See, uh, it, seek him. Uh, if you're not sure how, where, when, uh, go see your MCAs in the office. Uh, Calabasas, go seek him. But the admins at each office can help you out. Um, Long Beach, Long Beach, um, go see Cindy or Carla. Carla is our TC over there. She can help you out. If you're here, um, you can uh, you can reach out to Kim at this point. Uh, Kim and uh, Jazzy or Jessica. Lauren, especially. I just went into um, KW Connect and there's a video on how to walk through the document. Cool. So if I'm going to connect, you see on the screen over here. So once again, if you're in command, at the top over here, you're going to have two tabs, command and connect. So click on connect and let's see where it's going to take us. Right over here, and then uh, which video? So from home, I went to KW. Oh, from here, right? This one? Here, yeah, well, I mean, uh, yeah, that's fine. You can click on connect <laughs> over here, and that's basically the university. And from here, and let's just write. What, what? It's, it's down right there. What's the topic? I can just search it. Copy sign, doctor, doctor. sign, enter. It's going to give me all the docu sign. Um, whatever A to Z. This is the yeah, most yeah. recent one, um, October 10th from yesterday. So I'm going to click on that. And uh, it's, we'll do that sometimes. I'm not sure why it's kicking you out. And here's the walk to the video. It can take you. I'm going to just copy this one. And I'm going to drop it in the chat box. So if you're watching me right now, you will have the ability to copy that one and just use it right away. Uh, Angela, many thank you for DocuSign. I just signed it and no problem. Angela, congratulations. Um, OK, let's go back to the screen. So this is how you can just you know watch like step by step, I guess, in one minute. Nope. The opportunity name is Lid. Okay, to show like you exactly step by step. Thank um, you for sharing that, Lauren. To go back. What to do, how to do it. You're going to have more of those. But once again, that's what we have the tech sessions over here every Friday. I'm sure those little things over here so you won't get, you know, because it's too much information. Sometimes you don't find the time during the week, the day to learn or what have you. But mostly when there's no need for that right away, right? So once again, Long Beach already using that. Cool. You guys over here just giving the courtesy in Calabasas just a little bit more before I'm going to pull the trigger. So I encourage you to already start using that. Um, one more cool thing I want to show you about DocuSign. Anybody from, any, let me just go to home. Okay. Anybody's familiar with templates? How to work with uh, DocuSign templates? Raise your hand. Okay. All right. So if you don't know what templates, uh, what uh, how powerful it is, I'll show you right now. So template, basically, when you click on it, you can create a new template. And the idea basically, uh, let's just call it over here, um, you know, uh, test one, whatever. But it can be basically you're saving a, a, a repetitive form of, of, of DocuSign that is, on, is the same thing. So, for example, um, if you have a, a form of some kind that always needs to be sent out, and it's always going to be the same way, okay? Um, that's how you can do it from here. Now, I'm not talking about something like, you know, one-time document and different thing or whatever, but uh, if you know in advance that you, that specific document, the documents can be sent as a, as a, as a, as a bulk or a single document, that's where you can prepare that for signature, all right? Now, with RPA or RLA, the listing or purchase, it might be a bit trickier because it's better off to go through zip forms. Fill in all the information ahead of time. It also looks more professional and clean. And then you go to DocuSign for signatures, only for the initials and signatures and date, right? But some forms, even if it's not, once again, real estate forms, can be utilized over here uh, to be sent out. For example, right now we're transitioning all of our onboarding documents. Like, you know, when you join, you had like a bunch of documents you have to sign in to join the office and the whole thing. So no more paper. Right now it's all. Uh, we are going to sign. So you're going to sit in the conference room with us, and you have the tablet and you, or the screen, and you're going to go through that, and you should do DocuSign, 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 right? For that, 
It's only made a different person, so that's how, you, how you're going to do it. So let me give you an example. Uh, put a name over here, upload, uh, like this random document over here. Let's use the same. This uh, doesn't matter. The same one as this one. Okay? <clears throat> and then you, you, you can put yourself to begin with. Um, just to have to have a name, otherwise it won't give you an option to add any fields, which can be changed afterwards. And then um, you can also control the message that will be sent out. You know, so please DocuSign and then you know um, test, okay, or whatever you want to say. And then you're going to go to next. <clears throat> Same thing like you're going DocuSign. And here it is document or documents, okay? Huh, funny. Um, over here, you're gonna you're gonna drop all the fields, you know the fields, whatever you want to to write. Okay, so let's say it's a long text over here. Uh, let's say someone to put their name and then you know signature over here, date, um, maybe initial over here, whatever the relevant document is. is only an example. And then I'm gonna do save save and close. Okay, and then I'm over here. So. Once you want to use this, this, this document, <clears throat> once you want to use this document, you're going to click on it, and um, here you can, you know, either change the name of the recipient, or if you're just going to go to next, it's just that's, that's you're, not, you're not sure. So here, um, over here, you can just do edit recipient. So the same thing. You're going to see, and you see, you see all the fields are stay as it is before. So once again, if you have a long document with uh, a lot of fields or what have you, you can use this 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 this, uh, this form, this uh, template basically. Um, and I'm going to go back. If you want to, um, or for example, if you already have it set naturally, you can also you know once again change the recipient from here. Just press send now. It's going to go outside right away. Now, if you're going back to um, to templates. Here and let's say you want to share this uh, template with someone. You're going to click over here and then download, and then that can be sent out to someone that can use the same template as you. It's the same generic document, blank with a lot of fields or whatever. It's just a, a, a time saver. Okay. <clears throat> Any questions about that? Anybody? No questions. So one more thing I want to show you about uh, about command. But they find very useful and I see more and more people using that. So let's just see. DocuSign. Okay, command. All right, so I see more and more people using that and I encourage you to uh, dig deep. Uh, first of all is, um, you know, this is the default uh, screen, the command. I'm going to go to connect again, as I mentioned before. And another thing that you're going to see is groups. So that's going to be more and more popular as command is going to grow and in those groups we're going to start to communicate with you. It's like pretty much like Facebook groups or what have you and it, once again it has interface to the Kelly app. So from here we can create our own in-house integrated whatever group. You can create your own group as well. So you can say uh, this is a group only for um, veteran uh, referrals or whatever and you can you know, connect with people all over the world to send your referrals, or for luxury, or for whatever you, you put your mind into it. This is only into, inside Keller Williams, right? <clears throat> so over here, for example, if I'm going to the Calabasas uh, group, that's that's our office, and that's over here, all the you know all the group members. So you have like you know one post that uh, Elaine Crawford you know put over here. She's you know selling her, her luxury home in Nashville. Um, and that's how we do it. So that's going to be some kind of interesting integration as we'll see how it's going to build up. But it's more like a, a, backup, uh, a backup office, a back office, right? Because Facebook, um, the category shares that we have, so it's good for like, you know, hey, I'm looking for a, <clears throat> a roofer or a referral or a plumber or whatever, or coming soon or come check out my, my new listing or whatever it is, uh, or just you know, promote maybe training or whatever. But it's not really easy to share documents and stuff. Here, you'll be able to do everything. So we can just drop over here for a second. Hey guys, FYI, a new um, uh, disclosure. Here it is. Or whatever you know, you, 
you can whatever you can imagine. And of course, it's going to get more and more in depth as it's going to you know build, uh, build those pieces as well. What you can see is all the all the members in the office, all the agents in, in, in our office, and connect with them as well. Uh, if you click on someone, so you can you know you can follow someone, right? And when you follow someone. It means that if they're posting something or whatever, you can see what, what they're all about. Uh, Adi over here, commercial guy, <clears throat> doesn't have much in his profile, but some, some of them do have things. And once again, that's how you can create more and more uh, connections. Uh, other groups that they see that's been built over here already, let's see, for example, not many, but... Um, so you have most like in our area, naturally, and like, you know, I have those groups because I'm part of the OPs and team leaders and what have you. Um, labs, that's a good group as well to learn more about the technology uh, as, as it goes. Coming soon, you see, you have um, Agent Happy Hour, whatever that is, Will of Kelly, um, some do, some don't, and uh, education groups and stuff like that. So it's pretty, once again, it's very, very, you know, uh, purposeful, uh, interesting um, tool that they're going to use uh, utilize very, very soon. So I encourage you just to look in over there and just start to connect more and more with other peers because um, some agents, their main focus is only on referrals and they're making, you know, six-digit six uh, income every year, uh, more than $100,000 in commission uh, just by referrals. They don't, they, they don't even sell like one house directly as in donut or whatever, not that you shouldn't, it depends on your style of business, but referrals are massive. And when you think about it, it's you in a sea or ocean of 108,000 agents. You gotta get at least one referral from somebody if you're gonna ask for it, right? So this is, a, once again, it's just a direct reach to that resource, nobody else has it. Um, that's if you have questions, and yet, so, One more thing I want to show you, back to command, is the designs. <coughs> the designs. Designs uh, replaced will replace ultimately <coughs> Michael Lewis uh, marketing suite. Uh, some people recently asked me, "Hey, I, I, why can't I access Michael Lewis for my flyers or whatever?" Well, because we told you it's eight months ago we're going to shut it down, and we did. Uh, and this is the new platform now. One thing they don't have here yet is um, is shared um, templates. Okay, they had it, but they took it off to rebuild it because they're gonna add over here all the campaigns and a lot of templates that they're gonna build for you guys in advance. So, for example, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna build templates for flyers, open house. Coming soon, just sold, uh, for sale, um, whatever, like, you, know, um, uh, you know, recently sold, stats, whatever, whatever. Or postcards, the same manner. Uh, door hangers, whatever, pre-made templates. You just need to go there and change with your information or picture, whatever you want to change in stats, and use it like in seconds. It's much easier, way more sophisticated, way more uh, user-friendly for many of the platforms you had in the past, okay? Um, now, that's secondary to our marketing um, in-house designers, but if it's a Friday night and you need to do something for the after or last minute, we cannot help you, okay? We're not here, so you can use that. A lot of agents still like to do their own stuff as well. So that, that, that was for, like, for print purposes. When it comes to social media, there's not any tool out there that I'm familiar with Real estate proper that has what we already have, and this is just only the beginning of inventory wise of um, um, different designs. So, I'll give an example. Uh, and once again, as I mentioned, we don't have that yet. We didn't create uh, templates for you guys to use because it's not the, <clears throat> uh, the, there's no ability yet to do so. So, once it's going to be there, we're definitely going to share uh, as, as many as we can with you. So let's say I'm going to go over here <coughs> at the bottom right and add a new design that I want to create. And let's say I want to, I want to print something. Okay? Now, social, I can also print social if I want like a picture or whatever, but 
those designs for the same size as, as what you're trying to do. So I'm going to go to print. If I have a listing, or if I'm trying to promote a listing, existing listing, I can click over here, input photos from a specific listings. Um, let's just try it out. It's fine. You don't, you don't have to. Create template. And it's going to ask me right now for the listing. MLSID. Um, see, there's a little glitch over here. Give this one for a second. Try, to try this again. Okay. It's going to take me over there. So if you're going to, if you don't have a listing, you can click on the side. It's going to take you there. Uh, but I try anyway to add a specific listing. So this is uh, uh, business card. So this this is actually this is actually new. They, they, they didn't have it a couple of days ago, as far as I remember. Let's say open houses. Okay, and I want to create um, um, letter is uh, is a flyer. Letter is a letter. It's, it's a flyer. They didn't call it flyers for some reason. Actually, yeah, sorry, flyers, letters uh, or postcards. Okay, so those are just the basic that they had over here. And then um, let's say I want to do a flyer, let's say this one, use it over here. Once again, you can compare it to Mike and Lewis that you had before, and you just change the, you know, some of the basics over here that uh, I'm going to show you right now. <clears throat> so it's going to open the, uh, the design platform, hopefully. Give it a second. In, um, you invited, and let's before anything else, um, I'm going to go down here to KWLS. That's the Kelowna Simplification System. So it funnels all the listings from all over the world here, only KW, of course. And um, can someone give me an address of a listing? 703. Seven zero one. Yeah. B. B. S. S. Sorry, B. What? B. E. S. S. M. E. S. Okay. Let's search. This one. Yeah. So this is the listing. I'm going to select it, and it's going to give me you see all the pictures, and. I like um, <clears throat> whatever. Let's say this picture. I'm gonna. I can you know click, click you know add the image. Or I'm gonna can go ahead and just drag it to this one over here, and I'll drag uh, the backyard whatever over here to the other one. See how easy it is, right? And then um, listing details details over here. So I see all the information over here. And let me try. You know I, I'm gonna click on add. I don't know what it's gonna do. If it's gonna do anything. Oh, okay. Just brought this. You see, like brought the, the the font over here, basically. Okay. So I can. Let me just delete it for a second. You can do that, or or, or you can just copy paste whatever the content is. I don't know if I can. Let's see if I can drag it over here. Okay, it's the same thing. You see, I can you know drag it. If same thing. So I'm just gonna go over here to this one. Delete it, and then I'm going to drag whatever I just got. Spend it for a second, uh, or maybe I just should do a smaller font a little bit. It's fine. Okay. Once again, don't have to be a designer because it's already designed for you. You have to, you know, move things around for a second, and then over here, of course, I can you know, put, you know, change the information forward to whatever. Whatever it tells me, you see, like I don't have to even to go to the MLS back and forth, but it's all over here, right? Um, open house, whatever. Only thing you have to remember is, of course, to um, <clears throat> uh, you can either delete that, or if you don't go to logos, and if you don't have it, let me know. I'm going to search the logos in <coughs> here. Just drag it and change that with this one. Information: you can add your picture if you want, if you have an image, right? Somewhere maybe uh, on the side over here, um, right? If you have a picture that you you know usually use for yourself or whatever it is, and and, and that's it. You're done. You're done. Way more cleaner than, than anything else that I've seen before. Maybe there's something better out there. I don't know, but this is very very beautiful. And over here you can just do download. And you can download as a picture, a picture, I I version picture or as PDF to print, and you're done. 
right? Um, or you can share this right away if you want through like social media, like in seconds. Click over here. Uh, my things are not connected right now, but you can share this one as a picture on your Facebook right away. Right? You can do that too if you're connected. Uh, hold on for a second. Questions? No questions? Questions. Hold on for a second. Um, I want to make sure. Hold on. <clears throat> Hey, uh, Angela, can you hear me? Angela? Oh, can you chat in? Yes, okay, perfect. Just want to make sure that you can hear me and see me. Because you guys are very, very quiet over there. All right, perfect. Uh, before the question, let's just put back the screen. Yes, question. In the local section, is that going to be something that's going to be available to all the agents? Or you said we have to add those logos manually. Yeah, I mean, so far there's no, uh, there's no default one, and like all those I uploaded, uh, all those logos to my library, okay? So you just have to, you just have to ask them for us, my, my marketing team, and we can send you, yes? Um, for sharing, is there anything? So they, they shut down Instagram for now. I guess they're working on something to change or modify whatever it is. Um, so it was, but now it's not. So right now it's only Twitter. And I think Facebook and LinkedIn for now. Okay. okay, but that's good enough for now. Once we're gonna have Instagram, is, I think it's a powerful tool as well. But let's wait for them to see what uh, what they're all about. Um, let, yes. I have a question over here. <clears throat> Can we also download? Say we have banners that we put on, you know, for branding reasons. Yeah. And just download our banner in here. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> uh, uh, great question. So. <clears throat> I want to go and see, oh, so let's just close this one for a second, save, whatever. I want to see where you can, um, yeah, I'm not sure where they, they changed that. Let me go again, I'm going to create something new for a second. Um, okay, let me just go to social for a second, I'm going to jump to something else to show you. And through that, I'm going to try to answer your question. The question was, can I upload my own stuff if I want to? Yes, you can. So here, you see, this is, you see over here, webrand.com? So this is like a, like a sub-platform of the of designs. Here we have library. Top right, library. If you want to click on that, <coughs> then I can, I can add, um, I should be able to add my own stuff. If not from here, from the actual platform, let me just check for a second. This is new to me too. Um, here, see over here? I can add images over here. Backgrounds, images, logos, I can add over here, right? Brand, whatever, fonts, whatever over here. But let me just go over here. Let me, let, let's just say I'm, just, I'm doing like just listed uh, for Instagram. See the differences over here? No different designs by the um, size, so I won't have to cut or zoom in, zoom out, it's perfectly fit. And I'll go for this one just listed, I'm going to use this one. <clears throat> and then, um, give it a second. And as you can see over here, you have the ad. If I want to add more things <coughs> over here, um, I can add here. Let's say like I'm going to add like a whatever. Let's say this image, for example. Open. Okay. You see how I, I added this image to my to my library? It's my own library. Once again, I told you uh, they don't have shared libraries yet. So like I, I'm waiting for that because we're gonna build, we're gonna custom design lots of those. Um, once again, different like just listed, the sold, whatever. Uh, even though we already have basics, and I, I can only imagine once they're going to pull the trigger on their end with like virus designs, you're gonna, it's going to spin your head. It's going to be like it's, it's going to be actually too much. Because if you have, you saw like this like one design. If you have 20 of those, I don't need 20. Of those, I need like maybe three, right? Maybe maybe even two. Because I'm going to change the picture anyways. It's going to be the same, and I'd rather keep my the consistent like look or or or, or you know. Brand, even if it's a different picture, but the same thing. So whatever you have right now, it's good enough to start to conquer. 
Uh, but that's where you can you know, add stuff. And if I want to, let's say, once again, I just added this picture, I'm going to add it over here. It's really like a low resolution picture, not the best one. I'm going to put this one back. Um, maybe it just takes a second, I'm not sure. But in any case, that's how you can do the, the same thing over here. Okay. So many, if yeah. you have your banner, okay, like now I can put my banner in my photos and I sure. can drop it anywhere I want. Yeah. So is there a place I can take my banner? Is that what you're showing me? And drop it in there and then put it wherever I want? Yes. Yeah. Now, can you define a banner? A banner is that like a pre-made uh, right. flyer or, yeah. So you just have to, to be aware, be conscious on the size. So if you have, if your uh -huh. banner is... Let's say um, you know, like a, um, a flyer size, right. and you try to do it on a uh, Facebook post. Maybe it will be shrink. It'll be too mm -hmm. much, too small, too big for that, right? <clears throat> you have to shrink it. Does it have too much text? What's the purpose? So always be aware of like what you do. What's the you know? When it comes to social media, ideally, 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 it's going to be a picture with nothing on it, with nothing on it, right? Just because. The text goes in the, uh, the, the message of the, uh, the you know, the, the body, uh, where you post something, right? Now, uh, this one, uh, th this is like the limit. You have like a logo over here, right? You have a logo down here, and um, you have a logo down here, and then you have um, just listed, and then a name, that's it, right? And a better picture, of course. But... <clears throat> That's too much by, by, by itself. If you're going to put too much information, it's, 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 it's cluttering. It's, it's too messy. The, uh, on the message, on the post, Instagram, Facebook, for example, LinkedIn, that's where you need to write all the information. You also have to do tags and hashtags and whatever. This is a clear, that's what can get the attention. The cleaner, the better. Uh, but once again, I really encourage you, encouraging you to, to, uh, to work, start to work the designs because there's so many amazing things and I don't see out there the footprint of design. I know how it, how it looks like. People don't use it yet. Question. Uh, where's the link? Where do you put the URL for? URL for? So if someone sees the post and they click it, where is it going to take them? Um, so you can, from here, you can save it as, a, as an image, right? And then, you know, post wherever you want to post. Or from here, you can share it to your social media platforms. Um, when you say a link, you mean here in the picture? Well, when it, when it posts to Facebook or any of those social sites and they get look at what just listed and they tap it, does it take them to the listing? No, no. Does it take them to the page, right? Or does it take No, no. So, on the, so if, I, if, I, if I'm going to click on like LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook or whatever, I'm still going to have, it's going to open the window for you to write a post. I'm going to write, and I'm going to add myself, I'm going to add whatever link I want to add. Oh, uh, so this is just going to create a regular image. image. Yeah. Oh, I thought it had the whole... No, no well, no, but yeah. uh, at the same time, it doesn't matter because it's it, this is a, a, a very powerful platform to create... Uh, um, what do you use right now to do social media images? What do you use? What kind of platform? Premium platform. <laughs> you don't, or it's just like whatever that, that you use. So th th this is very powerful. Uh, you have this link over here that I'm not sure what it does, where it's going to take you. I'm going to try to do it over here. There it is. So you actually can use maybe that link. You can link. You can link that URL to the image. Look how clean it looks, by the way. How beautiful. You can it make is. landing pages in the. And command also. Yeah, you I mean, can you add it to that? Then you would put a link to that in yeah, your text. Yeah, you can. You click on but, that oh, and it's text. It but it's only for an image, right? Yeah. So it that, does take you to the actual listing or whatever. We do use L2L over here. That takes you to actual live feed in, in the whole the whole nine yards. Um, <clears throat> so right now, there's no way to say have if somebody it taps on you send this out that taps on it and it could go to your web page. There, it doesn't do that now. No, it doesn't. It's not supposed to. Like right now, you can also you can do it also on Facebook or Instagram, and it's going to add the URL. It, it's, this is not the purpose. No. Now, from here, let's say you save this picture, and then in um, second, to go back, and then let's let's say over here you went to campaigns. 
and of course your 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 uh, Facebook is is uh, is connected, right? So from campaigns, what you can um, what you can do is to create step by step campaign that will uh, be like a Facebook ad, right? From here, create new um, social ad and advertising listing on Facebook and Instagram, set up campaign, uh, campaign name, whatever, uh, name of the list, right, of the listing, set up campaign. Yeah, so it asked me to connect to my Facebook, whatever, uh, <clears throat> which I am, but not, you know, this computer. And, and over here, um, It's not going to work. I don't have any listings. Here, let's just select this one. You see, um, here it's going to ask me to, it's going to ask me to, um, you know, put all the information over here, right? Exactly as it's going to do on, on your Facebook things. It's going to Facebook and, and the ad manager can be a bit complicated and it'll be funky or whatever. It's the, 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 the platform as well. And also, if you don't know, <clears throat> The cost per click for KW agent using the, the, the system uh, KW command is cheaper if you're going to use it outside command. That's a deal that Facebook and KW did. Okay, so it's not going to click if it's going to cost, for example, um, 70 cents outside, it's going to be cheaper over here. I don't know exactly how the algorithm works, but it's, it's, a, it's a fact uh, that they do that as well. So it's going to be more cost effective over here to use the ads than uh, directly from Facebook. So questions so far? So once again, I went over the uh, DocuSign, just a few basics, and hopefully the next couple of weeks we'll show you how to work it from command. Okay, your opportunities, your loops, your transactions, and utilize DocuSign as well. I went over basic uh, templates, uh, design templates in um, in um, designs in command, <clears throat> and um, ran over a little bit of uh, uh, social media uh, pieces as well. How to do uh, such? Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, just for the app, is there a special sign-in under KW, or should I just create my own? Say again. When I sign up for the app, yeah. is there a special KW sign-in that I should use? <clears throat> just, use KW, just use your, 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 your KW um, uh, email. email. Yeah. There's nothing, I think, more than that. Um, yeah. 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 Okay, so, um, <clears throat> yes? So my design page doesn't have like, like, uh, Try to refresh the page. <clears throat> Sometimes you have some, some, some glitches or whatever. You're welcome. Um, I'm trying to take over my TV. Uh, all right, so anyways, uh, a few things. Number one, if you want to go over specific things, let's keep know, let me know so we can put it on the, on the agenda for our tech uh, training so you know, everybody can benefit from that. Uh, Calabasas today, we, we, uh, there's still caravanning happening out there. We did cancel ours because of the smokes. There was uh, heavy fires in Port Ranch since last night. Uh, <clears throat> And it's it's just too much to, to deal with. So uh, a few people did cancel the car, the brokers open today, so we're not going to do it today specifically. Uh, if you don't know anybody in Porter Ranch, you know, pick up the phone, call them, ask uh, if there's anything they need, if everything's okay, um, anything we can help as well. And then um, look at the calendar for next week. We have tons of things coming up. We have the team meeting on Tuesday. It's going to be very uh, informative with a special announcement. We have uh, the following week. We have uh, my um, business planning clinic, right? I think so, the following week. Uh, RSVP, please, we have limited space, lunch provided, will be 
powerful sessions. We have at the end of the month, um, on a Saturday, 20 something, 26, I think, we have all the Ignite Marathon, Ignite back to back, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Six trainers here at the training room. Uh, I'm gonna provide you breakfast and do the whole sessions once again back to back. Every Monday, Monday uh, here at the training room, Stephanie Alatore leading a uh, session with, uh, of mix of productivity and coaching, different uh, topic subjects, and she also gonna have <clears throat> from time to time guest speakers with her as well, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And Stephanie also launching the, uh, the group on the end of the month. On the 18th. Which is? Friday, Friday the 18th at 4.30, uh, it came before the happy hour. Right, uh, Stephanie is launching the uh, women's group of uh, Kedabra Kalabasas in the first launch, and uh, men, you can only observe, you're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> but, you can observe from afar. That's right, that's 4.30, Kings. 4.30. Yeah, but 5.30, we're gonna crush the party because we have our uh, monthly happy hour at the Kings. So the guys will show up. Uh, but that's great, so if you want to be part of that, I encourage it's going to be, uh, I think, super powerful, and we're here to support that. So guys, thank you so much. Um, stay on top of it, stay on it, and uh, have a great Friday. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Manny. Thanks, guys, for watching us.